The perfect dollar slice. The bottom nice and crispy. All the way to the crust. Just like that. I'm gonna go and then let you feel that you are in New York today. That's what I'm talking about. I'm bringing New York to Italy today. See? Then we close it just like that. Three, two, one. And now the game is getting serious. The game is getting serious. Hello guys from my studio Coppelli and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Guys, today it's really, really, really special. First of all, I want to thank you to be here. Thank you for supporting and uh, help me to reach this amazing number. And uh, I mean, you guys changed my life and today I will change yours. Today, I'm going to show you step by step how to make a New York style pizza at home. But today, next level, because I have another video, but that's just the basic. Today, it's next level pizza, New York style. I mean, you have to see this. Take a look. Nice, crunchy, crispy pizza, just like they make it in New York. I just got back from New York and I decided to do this next level pizza dough at home, New York style. So enjoy this video, watch until the end. Invest your time, these 10 minutes, and hopefully, hopefully, I will change your game. Make it, it's really easy, step by step, from my studio Copelli. Share after and call your friend. Come to the best pizza channel. We are ready to make the fabulous next level pizza dough, New York style. This is what you need. The Polish 24 hours, made 24 hours ago. Uh, the recipe, I'm gonna write it down right here somewhere. Then we are gonna add 300 milligrams of cold water, 450 grams of flour, 200 grams of uh, semolina, the fine one, extra 3 grams of uh, dry yeast, 30 grams of uh, sea salt, and 50 grams of uh, extra virgin olive oil. So let's go ahead and let's start this recipe. First of all, let's dump the water in the mixer bowl. Then let's get the polish nice and fermented, nice and strong. And the, the good thing of this recipe, guys, is that you can make the dough with any, any flour. So let's go ahead and uh, melt the polish in the water, just like that. You can go with your hands, depends, you can go how you want it. When uh, you see the water that becomes a little bit uh, white, here we are ready to add uh, the yeast, three grams, just like that, of dry yeast. If you're using fresh yeast, go ahead and use uh, five grams. Voila, let's melt the yeast. Voila, now it's time to add the 30 grams of sea salt. Same thing. Let's melt the salt. Just for a few seconds, you know, you don't need to waste your time, your valuable time there. Voila. Now let's add our 200 grams of uh, semolina, just like that. And now the game is getting serious. The game is getting serious. Perfect, guys. Now that everything is melted, now let's go ahead and let's add the flour. Voila. Ta -ta -ta. And now, so mix until all the flour is nice and uh, integrated before starting to work the dough on top of the counter. We work the dough in the bowl, this way it doesn't get, we don't make a mess. So did you see, now that everything is all together, try to clean up your hands, just like that, and use the spatula. Now let's go ahead, let's work the dough on a surface with marble, please, which is more easy. I'm gonna make it very easy for you guys. In my channel, you'll find everything made in an easy way. So now we are ready to mix the dough and we wanna mix the dough until it's all together. So usually by hands, 
it takes about uh, about 15 to 20 minutes. As you see now is everything together. We're gonna go ahead and add the olive oil little by little on top. And we're gonna go ahead and integrate all the olive oil. Olive oil helps the cooking process of the pizza dough. Just mix like this. I prefer to do this dough always by hands because this is a small amount. And we can go ahead and add more. Save a little bit for the end. Mix everything till it's all integrated. And remember to save a little bit of olive oil for the end because we're gonna use it for something. Quick movement. Up, inside and close, inside and close. Voila. So now you'll see that the dough is a little bit sticky. So what do you do? Little bit of uh, olive oil on top, just like that. Watch this and uh, voila, cover up. And uh, now wait 30 minutes at room temperature. This way the gluten will become more strong. Here we go guys, 30 minutes passed by and now the goal here is to make the gluten, uh, to make the dough nice and smooth. So help with the spatula, a little bit of uh, olive oil in your hands, tap tap up on top and now let's make the gluten more stronger. Like you can see the dough is becoming nice and smooth. And now again a little bit of uh, olive oil on top, just like that, voila. And now let's save the dough inside a container. Just like that, let's get a bowl, a little bit of uh, olive oil in the bowl, just like that, voila. This way it's gonna be easier to take it out. Let's get it and let's put it inside the container. Just like that. See, it's nice and smooth. Let's go ahead and let's close it. Just like that, nice and seal it. Take off the air. Now let's go ahead and let's put the dough inside the fridge right away for uh, about four hours. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna put it inside my little fridge right here. Voila, close it, <laughs> boom, four hours inside the fridge and then we can make the balls. Now it's time to smash the like, subscribe and guys share with three friends. It's totally free and you're gonna help me to reach one million subscribers. I'll see you in a little bit. Four hours pass by and uh, the dough should be ready. Take a look guys, it's like a bomb. Three, two, one. <laughs> Boom, baby. Yeah. Voila. Take a look how it grow. Fantastic. So now we're laying down here, just like that. Voila. Take a look how much air is inside. Fantastic. So now we turn it, just like that. And now we're ready to make the balls. So guys, the balls for New York style needs to be around uh, around 320 grams each. Square, just like that. This is one way to do it, or you just go like this. Flip it inside, 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 and then, see? And then we close it just like that. Boom, voila. Just like that, make sure it's closed like a balloon. Just like that, close it like a balloon, and then boom, down. So the dough balls needs to be, again, 320 grams each for a nice 14 to 16 inches pizza dough. Now, let's get the container, just like that. You remember the little bit of extra, extra olive oil? Go under right here. Okay, done, down and then get the ball again and put it down just like that inside. Two, three, and four. Voila. Now again, little bit of olive oil on top, just like that. This is always the same, this is the same olive oil that I was using. And the olive oil on top will make the dough not get dry because this is a, a high, this is a low hydration, so it needs to be nice and uh, covered. Voila, the dough, it's ready. 
Okay guys, now that we put a little bit of olive oil on top, now let's go ahead and uh, boom, let's close it and let's keep it at room temperature for one hour to two hours, depend on the room depends on the room temperature. I want to get the occasion right now to let you know that I have a, a nice perfect master class. It's a professional course online. A masterclass.pizza. Uh, you have to check it out. It's a very professional course made A to Z to learn how to make pizza at your home and at your business. So after this, this is the dough. Room temperature one hour to two hours. Now we are ready to prepare the ingredients for the perfect New York style pizza. So let's go ahead and let's get ready. Okay guys, voila. So in the meantime, like you know, guys, if you have a, uh, let me turn it on the oven. If you have a gas oven like this or wood oven, fire up the oven, fire up the oven one hour before. Also, if you have a home oven, how you cook a New York style pizza, basically you get the oven, put a stone inside or a, a metal, put it inside really quick, just like that, close it and then position the oven at the max temperature for 40 minutes before cooking the pizza. This way the base will warm up and they will give it a nice and crispiness to the pizza of New York style because that's the most important thing, the crisp crispiness. So let's go ahead and let's go make the New York style pizza. I can't wait, I can't wait. I'm making this with my all love, all my know-how, now it's yours. So let's go. <laughs> For the original New York pizza, we're gonna use uh, uh, Reggiano, a regular Parmesan, just like that, simply. Some uh, shredded cheese, shredded cheese. This is perfect for, uh, uh, this is perfect for New York style pizza because this is dry and uh, it will uh, become nice and crispy compared to the fresh mozzarella. But if you wanna use the fresh mozzarella for New York style, it's okay, but it will become too watery, so you need uh, you need the or this cheese or you get the uh, the regular provolone cheese. Voila, let's open up. I'm gonna take off the skin. I'm gonna use this salami. I'm gonna cut it the same way how the pepperoni are cut. So just like that, thin cut. This way, this will give it a nice pepperoni flavors. This is the best way how to cut the pepperoni. Mm. I don't know if I. If I'm, I'm gonna be able to use it for the pizza. I'm gonna eat it off before then. The salami, pepperoni, it's cut, and now we have our ingredients. Okay, some, and then guys, I love to use uh, some oregano because uh, you know New York is full of uh, <laughs> it's full of uh, Sicilian, and they love oregano. So let's set up the oven. It's getting in temperature. Fire up the wood. Few minutes. We're gonna make the original New York style pizza. What so what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Share this video before ends. Baby. Let's go, let's wait. Like you can see the oven is getting nice and hot. <laughs> Outstanding. No. Ooh, nice and puffy, that's what we want. We want soft and crunchy. Okay guys, I wanna show you something if you have a wood burning oven how to clean it up because I saw some mistakes that someone made that you cannot put the wet towel just like that in the oven or you will crack the base of the oven. So make sure, especially if you have a Zio Chiro oven because this material on the bottom is very delicate. It's not like the biscotto too thick, uh, so it's different. So always make sure it's humid towel, just like that, look, nothing coming out. So this is a humid towel and we are ready to go ahead and clean up the oven. So move the wood on the side, just before making the pizza, just like that. Voila. Try to clean the most that you can with the peel. Just like that, and then gently do this. Gently. Because uh, when the oven is hot, 
it's very easy that will crack that's how you position the the towel just like that now we go in the oven don't stop just go from the sides to the back then again flip it over a couple of times just the time to take off all the ash from the bottom not too much not too less voila take a look guys the oven is perfect and clean and put this back in the in the water and then I want to show you what comes out from the bottom that's why you need to clean up the oven come here look the water look how dirty is the water so this if you don't clean it goes back goes under your pizza and then trust me it's not good okay guys the moment of the true boom how do you know that the dough is ready let me explain to you because i'm here to teach you all the secret like nobody does thank you so much by the way to watch and dedicate your time so this is the dough you'll notice that the dough is ready when it's attached each other and double up the side bit i'm using f semolina f flour so 50 50 go ahead and put the flour extra just like that on top now let's get the dough out from the box guys very important that you need to have a spatula because this is very the most important tools when you make the pizza because if you take the dough out from the box wrongly it's gonna be a problem and then it doesn't come out as a circle so let's go ahead and put a little bit of flour under and then boom one shot flip it over on top of the dough on top of the flour sorry close it right away make sure you close the box otherwise it's gonna get dry and then a couple of times inside the flour so extra flour on the bottom just like that upside down flour now press press just press no stretch press just like that everything even the cross just like that boom 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 baby voila take a look now one more time just press again now it's two way to stretch this pizza one you go by hands just doing this and one is uh, to use the roller pin I like to use the roller pin because uh, it takes off all the air and then it comes out also more crunchy so this is how you do it one end you hold the dough and one end you press from the center then again flip it over then again boom 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 voila just like that we want a 14 inches pizza once we have about 14 inches take off all the flour upside down on top of the container so when i say upside down that means that the ball is like this in the container and needs to go like this so the, the the top part is gonna go on the bottom so like this now one more thing with your finger just go like this to make it a little bit more larger and voila this is the correct side of a perfect new york style pizza 14 inches oh i forgot one ingredient the tomato sauce sorry guys forgot the tomato sauce <laughs> one very important thing let me get the sauce okay guys really quick i almost forgot let's put the pizza on the side just like that remember very important to get ready with all the ingredients before not like me right now because the pizza will get stuck so this is how you make the tomato sauce boom 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 really quick tomato sauce open the can pinch of salt not too much just like that New York style, little bit of oregano, little bit, not too much, just like that. Voila, little bit of uh, olive oil, there we go. And uh, okay, now let's mix everything up just like that, guys. See how simple it is? Don't get lost with uh, just a couple of ingredients. Very simple. Some people they cook it, some people not. Whatever you like, guys, you can make simply. Now, again, let's get ready. Voila, pizza, make then make the new york style pizza go ahead a couple of spoon on top and we want to go all the way guys all the way to the crust just like that i'm gonna go and then let you feel that you are in new york today that's what i'm talking about i'm bringing new york to italy today voila take a look 
that's it parmesan cheese done and now let's get our fresh shredded mozzarella just dump it on the pizza extra don't worry voila and then our nice pepperoni you know what they do they do this simple and then dump it on the pizza and then simply fix it just like that you want to be fast guys you want to be fast because when you are slow the pizza will get stuck a little bit of uh, olive oil on top just like that and a little bit of uh, oregano voila our new york pizza is ready to go in the oven voila it's big we're gonna make it we're gonna make it so let's go ahead see it's much easier than neapolitan style so guys the moment the best moment the cooking part so no flame the oven at at uh, around uh, around 500 550 and then let's go ahead and let's cook the pizza this beast for about five to six minutes just like that voila you're gonna give it the time to be cooked so outstanding thank you so much guys for being here today with me thank you so get ready with the grill this way the the pizza dough will get nice and uh, evaporated this way you don't get the, the pizza wet we have the nice crispiest on the pizza i'll see you in a few minutes guys oh my god oh my god i mean after this i quit i quit after this are you ready smash the like if you think we are in new york one two three boom boom baby take a look you can hear the crunch Shh. listen listen to this listen to this cheese bubbling not burn bubbling the smell wow 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 really really we are in new york take a look nice crunchy oh my god so now let's transfer this i hope that gordon ramsay will see this for real voila now you tell me if this is a new york style pizza tell me in the comment please tell me in the comment state guardando non state guardando it's nice it's nice and crunchy crisp in the same time but you guys i wish you could i wish you could smell i'm looking for the cutter just hold on now to finish we're gonna put nice parmesan cheese on top and now the pizza it's complete now some people put basil some people not but let's go ahead and let's cut the pizza listen nice crunchy nice and crunchy wow wow the perfect wait 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 right there hold on hold on hold on the perfect dollar slice take a look how it holds the perfect dollar slice the bottom nice and crispy <laughs> i mean i'm surprised on myself really i'm surprised on myself look how old i wish also uh barso comes here and give me the, the bite thing right there one two three bite i don't know how that works one bite two bite anyway listen to this mm. nice crispy at the right moment perfection it's not enough to say to this pizza Mm. come here close guys let's make this video to go to a million of views this one deserves the serves and let's say i'll see you the next one subscribe and share